So next, we're going to take a look at the future um, and, and take a look at the future through the eyes of our youth program participants and in, in their own words. This video that I'm about to show you features our 2021 conservation fellows. Uh, this is the modified pandemic version of our Baxter Youth Conservation Corps that we've been running for the last two summers. Um, and all the people you're about to hear from are high school seniors or recent graduates from the Katahdin region. They formed some pretty powerful connections to Baxter State Park this past summer. And this video you're about to see was filmed and edited uh, by Jake Kowalski of Millinocket, um, who uh, produced, uh, produced this entire video um, as part of his work with us this summer. Uh, I'm gonna work on pulling it up and we'll see. Hi, my name is Peyton Spearin. I'm a four-year veteran of the BYCC program. Um, we're out on Daisy Pond collecting information for my tree project. Throughout my four years with BYCC, I've worked two years on the trail crew and two years with the Conservation Fellowship. Um, during these four years, I've learned a lot of skills and met a lot of people. Moving 400 pound boulders isn't an easy task and definitely requires teamwork which is a skill I'll be able to take to any job that I want. BYCC has offered me the most rewarding job I've had, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone. I'm Brady Kalen. I'm from the Mount Chase area, about 30 minutes outside of Baxter State Park. I've been involved with the Baxter Youth Conservation Corps for the past three years. The first year, we started out doing corridor work on Wadley Brook Trail and some of the Katahdin Woods and Waters National Monument. Last year for the fellowship, I, my focus was on mycology, and uh, this year I'm following up on that, and I'm creating a public database where people can access and use and see what kind of mushrooms are in Baxter State Park. One thing I learned about this program is just how amazing and intricate and interesting mycology is as a science. Uh, I would definitely like to go into it as a career, and this provides excellent opportunity for experience. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, my name is Michael Clark. Here we are today in Baxter State Park, atop Double Top Mountain. I've been working with BYCC for the past four years now. The first two years we were doing trail crew work where we installed uh, bog bridges, stepping stones, did corridor work to improve the quality of the trails. In the past two years now, due to COVID-19, we are in a more independent study type of a role and we do certain projects based on our interests. So for instance, this year, I'm doing a project based on the great mountains that are here in this park, you know? There's roughly over 20 of them, and I've ascended all of them. And this year, I'd like to just share the, my knowledge of these mountains, people like you who are interested, and to maybe help you guys get a better feel of what's, what there is out here, and maybe a better way of how, how to get out here. Through this program, I've learned the value of teamwork. Without teamwork, we wouldn't be able to complete these tasks and jobs that we're given. This quality I can now take with me to the workforce for my future jobs and plans. I want to thank the BYCC for all this time that they've given me to be able to work in this program. I've done nothing but learn, have fun, and enjoy this beautiful, beautiful area here in Baxter State Park. So I want to thank them and thank you guys for watching. Hi, my name is Emma McGraw. This is my third year in BYCC. We're currently at Kidney Pond. My study focus is nature photography. My first year of BYCC, I was on trail crew. We did work on the Wadley Brook Trail in the SFMA, placing stepping stones, doing corridor, and redecking an old bridge. The past two years, I've been in the fellowship. Both years, I did nature photography. Both the trail crew and the fellowship have helped me in multiple ways. It's taught me hard work and dedication, but also how to work independently. These are skills that I can take into any area of my life and in any workforce. I'm very thankful for this opportunity that I've had in BYCC. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Elliot. I've been with the program two years now. Right now, we are in Kidney Pond Camp's library. And for my independent study this year, I'm researching the history of these camps. In my first year with the program, I was on the trail crew, and we set a lot of stepping stones on the Wadley Brook Trail. And this year, it's been a lot of
research and hiking alone. The program has helped me learn teamwork skills as well as independence and in working alone. And uh, it's helped prepare me a lot for any job I have in the future. Thanks for watching. My name's Alex Jacobs. This is my first year in the program. Today we're out at uh, Sandy Stream Pond looking, trying to locate some moose. Uh, this summer I've really been trying to research uh, the behaviors of moose and um, what they might be eating different times of the year. This is a really good opportunity for me personally because I've, it's really helping me consider um, a job in the outdoors rather than sitting in an office all day. Thank you to BYCC for this opportunity and thank you guys for your time. My name is Sylvia Hart. I'm from Mount Chase and I've been in the Baxter Youth Conservation Corps for three years now. I started my first year doing trail work in the north end of the park and now on my third year I am doing a conservation fellowship focused on a podcast I'm making for Friends of Baxter State Park, talking to people important to the conservation of fisheries in Baxter State Park, and I'm also looking at the park's fisheries management plan and seeing ways that they might update it. I've learned so much this year, um, not only from people that have experienced things hands-on, but I've also learned the history of the park, the history of the fisheries, and um, just fisheries management in general, ways that it could be better, not only in the park, but throughout the state of Maine. I hope to use this education that I've gotten through this program in uh, school for fisheries biology, and that's what I want to do with my career. And I would really just like to thank Friends of Baxter State Park for the opportunity they've given me to further my education. For this year for the Conservation Fellowship, I have been making a podcast talking to a bunch of fish stepping stones and replacing the bridge. Doing research for my independent study this year. Um, in the past years, uh... Uh, name's Alex Jacobs. Um, I've learned the value of teamwork. Without teamwork, the jobs that we do here wouldn't get done. Okay, you're gonna cut that. I'm Brady Kalen. I'm from the Mount Chase area, about 30 minutes outside of the north entrance of Baxter State Park. And I've been involved with a, with a, damn, damn. So through this program, I've learned the quality of teamwork. Doing these jobs out here is not easy and it requires multiple other people to help you out. times of the year and what they may be eating. Um. Management plan and seeing how they could um, better the plan for the future. I'm off by yourself. Um, this is helping me get skills I'll need for my future plans, getting a main guides license. A little humor always helps, um, especially if you're a teenager and especially in a year like this one that we all just had. So finally, we're going to close tonight with some words from Emma McGraw, uh, one of our conservation fellows who you just uh, saw during a portion of that video. Um, she's from Sherman, Maine, um, and what we're going to be watching is Emma speaking about the magnificent obsession that she discovered uh, during her years in the Baxter Youth Conservation Corps. So this video was filmed during a presentation that she gave a few weeks ago at the end of her conservation fellowship. Um, this was a picture taken of me. Um, when I officially completed every trail in Baxter State Park, um, which was just yesterday. So um, yeah, I, I, had my, I had my marker out there and I marked up the last few trails, which was just the last stretch to the saddle slide that I needed. And uh, thankfully somebody was there to take my picture and document the, um, that important milestone in my life. Um, I guess I just, uh, I said this last year as well that uh, when people told me that this park was a magnificent obsession, I 
I was like, nah, you're crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't know how could how a state park could be an obsession, but I think I've literally become the definition of it. Um, I just said to myself, I mean, last year I did an insane amount of hiking just because I needed a lot of pictures. And I thought, well, if I could get about halfway done, I could probably do the next half the next year and just finish it by the age of 18. And it was definitely a lot more than I thought it was going to be. I, I pushed my my physical limits a lot and it was it was definitely very challenging, but um, it was one of the, the best feelings that I've ever had in my life to, to finish um, to, to accomplish a goal that you set for yourself so high um especially like hardly ever hiking the park before like just two years ago like I had no idea what I was doing backpacking and I took quite a few backpacking trips to to get this done but um it was all a very great learning experience and yeah I just like I said I can't really explain the the feeling of what it was like to 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 finally do that and um yeah, it's, I had a great time doing it and I'm just super thankful for the opportunity. I mean, to, to, to hike all of these trails and learn so much about Baxter's history. And um, I just really appreciate the opportunity to share the park with everybody else because I know that it's something that a lot of people won't be able to do in their lifetime, especially as much as I have done. And I think that that's really important. It's really what, um, helped me to understand the importance of what I was doing because I think that's the difference between last year and this year. Last year I was like, oh yeah, I'm just taking pretty pictures, like, ah, it's nature, this is cool. But like I'm I'm documenting history. And it's it's not just the history that I know, but it will be history 50 years from now. Everything that's happening in the park, nothing, I mean like it won't be the same that it is today. And I get to photograph what I'm seeing and what I'm experiencing. And I've learned that preservation isn't necessarily always taking care of the nature that you're seeing, but but also documenting it and and stewarding that to the, the next generations. And I I want everybody to see to see what it was like in my time. And I know that my pictures will will well outlive me and, and my stories. And so I just, um, everything finally kind of clicked this year for me. And I, I realized the, the weight of everything that, that we were doing. And um, it was just a, it was a magical moment. It was an epiphanal moment. And I just, I, I feel, I feel very accomplished in what all of us have, have done in the program. So. That was a lot of wisdom right there uh, for an 18 year old. Um, thank you, Emma, uh, for, uh, for those words that you shared with all of us. And thank you so much, each and every one of you for joining us tonight and for being part of this magnificent obsession and for making our work possible. We could not do it without each and every one of you. So happy anniversary to friends and here's to the next 21 years of Forever Wild. Thanks so much everyone and good night.